Y'all niggas got me hot. Is we live? Is we live? Is we live? Yes, yes, you're now tuning into the rare podcast. And of course, I'm your host for the most, NK, aka the man of the hour, too sweet to be sour. It feels so long since I've said that. Oh my <laughs> god, oh my god. Yeah. And um, of course, I'm always joined by my lovely co host. Let's start with the madame today. Hi guys, it's Ashley. I know you miss me. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I'm always with the broski. Um, hello, it's Jason. Mm, 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 mm. I'm big up Madame Shona, she couldn't be here today. She's in Jamaica. She's in Jamaica, yeah. Yeah. enjoying yeah. herself, you know what I'm saying? You know, you can see the aesthetic, she can see the mic, you can see the car, she's in the new studio, baby. Big up to the new studio, you know what I'm saying? What, what, what? You know, you know, but yeah, Lemons man. Lemons into lemonade. Trust me, trust me. <laughs> But yeah, man, it feels good to be back, man. I can't lie. Like, I'm a bit nervous for the camera, but nah, man. Oh, why are you nervous? I don't know. I don't know. It's yeah, just, so it's like just rare. It's a different it's just, energy. It's just us, guys. It's just I know. I know. <sighs> but before we get into it, we, 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 hey, we for the fight. See, you start nerves. We have a segment we like to call Rare Moment of the Week, where we like to spotlight a creative that we feel, you know, needs the accolades, needs the spotlight, needs the attention. Yeah. Mr. Jason's been itching to talk about someone. So Mr. J. Oh. Kwan. He's so excited. This Rare Moment of the Week goes out to the amazing mm. Ali Bailey. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you said it right. Yeah, yeah. I said it right. <laughs> yeah, so yesterday Disney was doing the D23 Expo where they were spoke about all that, the new upcoming Disney movies. So there's even Disenchanted. Oh yeah, I saw the trailer for I that. Can't wait it looks alright. It looks good. And then there's um Pinocchio and all that stuff. But when Little Mermaid came on, that's the most anticipated Disney movie, I think, since Can it came out. They are going to have to carry me out. That like, movie. I'm going to be crying. When I heard part of this, I, was like, I said... Her voice is amazing. She was made for this. Hallie. No, the singing was amazing. And her red locks. Uh, oh my gosh. I, mean, it I think that's what everybody so was thinking good. about. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah. But yeah, yeah Halle Bailey, we Halle. are going to see you in May 2023. Mm-hmm. Halle Bailey. Make yeah. up Halle Bailey. Yeah. Madame Ashley, your rare uh, moment of the week. Um, you know me. I'm always going to keep it R&B. Um, my rare moment of the week is Ari Lennox's new album Ooh. called Age, Sex, Location. Yeah. I think that's right. Age, sex, location. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, amazing vibes. Just 10 out of 10. He has, she has a song on there with Lucky Day called Boy Bye. Okay. It's Lucky just, Day is always good on the future. He's like this. The, the chemistry, the vibes, it's just everything on that song is just. Overall, the whole album is the whole better album. than the first. No. Okay. Nothing can top Shea, Shea by a Baby. Nothing at all. What, but is, it's really good. Is it like a different vibe, kind of? No, it's I don't know how to describe it. It's it's kind of similar, okay. But it's 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 giving more modern, mm. and it's giving a lot more jazz influences. I, okay. I feel. What about the Chloe feature? Um, oh, good. It oh, was wow. it was a good song, but of all the songs on that on the album, yeah. it wasn't it's my, not it the wasn't, one. It wasn't my favorite. It wasn't like oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. The song with Lucky Day for me was better. Yeah. Okay. Hundred percent was better. Carl, my rare moment of the week again R and B, but UK. Um, I would like to big up an artist I've discovered on TikTok, an artist called Skeet. Um, he's got a song called No More Love Songs. Um, yeah. Is it R&B? Therefore. Yeah. Skeet. Skeet, yeah. F- isn't that someone else? Have to check that out. Oh, no, that's what Kanye called. Yeah, like, that's what Kanye Davidson. calls Pete Davidson. But, nah, Uh-oh. he's a cold artist. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a cold, <laughs> he's a cold artist. But, um, yeah, the song's called No More Love Songs. It's R&B. I like it a lot. And yeah, I'm just loving the UK R&B scene in general, man. That's what I love, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, big up, big up them, man. Big up, hey, um, Halle Berry. Bailey. Uh, hey, Halle Bailey. Hey, Halle, Halle Bailey. Bailey. Yeah. Halle, Halle Bailey. Big up Ari Lennox and big up Skeet. Those were our rare moments of the week. And big up Beyonce for the greatest album of the year. Oh gosh, yeah. Renaissance. I call the album grow me. The grow me. Yeah. It's it's it did. It's a grower, but do you know what it is? I feel like she made it for the girls and the gays. Mm. Yeah, no, it's yeah. it's not. It's not for the niggas. <laughs> no, it's really it's not, not for well, you. But you know what's annoying is that she hasn't promoted it once. She has not done a damn thing. That that visual album that she was supposed to drop. She probably still is, but she you know it's you know, Beyonce though. She could do what she wants. To yeah. be honest, no, she don't do no like, 
She's like, she's 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 like, she, well, she, we're lucky that she even told us the album date like yeah, a month before. Yeah. Usually, well, not usually, but previously, she just yeah, dropped it. Here you go. That's actually bad. There you go. Here you go. Have fun. Yeah. Beyonce. I'm just waiting for these videos. Hate. I'm I'm gagging for these videos. I'm I know absolutely they're gonna gagging. Be cold as well. They're gonna be so like even what? from the 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 teaser. Yeah. The, 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 the visuals that she found. That was like 15 different videos. Oh my that gosh. Like, hey. Speaking of which, yeah, since summertime has suddenly drawn to a close. What has been your song of the summer? Song of the summer. Song of the summer. Other, either, other than last, last, please. Is either because that's obvious. Is either Virgo's groove, heated, or as it was by Harry Styles. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not the same. That's a good song. I'm trying to think. But you know definitely for me, Virgo's groove, he For me, it's summertime by Flo. That me and my girls my are going oh, yeah. in the summer. Are we gonna do anything that we wanna? We gonna do anything that we wanna? Be my girls are rolling in this summer. That's a good song. I don't know if it was too. Obviously, this is the bait one. The one that's been. Please don't say last last. No 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 no. Closer. Who's that? Oxlade. Oh, closer. Yeah. How do you go? Oh, no more. Same thing. It's closer. Closer. Yeah. I mean, that yeah, came yeah. towards the end. That is, yeah. that is like two and a half. Week. But... I suppose like, everyone's vi- um, re-christened it up. I'm making you. Come on, baby, I'm making you. You see Justine Sky's on cover. Oh, gosh. She has a great voice, but... <laughs> no. Amer- it's no, a, she does have a great voice. Americans no. and Afrobeats. Oh, yay. Yeah. It's not really... Mm-mm. But that, yeah, that it's might be my... Song. That, that's a late pick for the song of the summer. As Beyonce said, America has a problem. <laughs> Leave they do. Alone. They do. They do. Uh, like, it's not an R&B song. Why are you doing all the riffs yeah, and everything? It was a mess. I can't even... They, 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 and even the like, dancing they, Like, nobody it. asks for it. Even, e, e, even oh, when America's dance to r and they'll be doing bare pop... Uh, oh. The no. backflips, everything. Learn the dances that it's supposed to go with mm-hmm. and go with that. Or just feel the music and calm Yeah. Down. Like, because if it's Rihanna, Rihanna will just feel it and calm down. But all these other people, they'll be dancing, boom, 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 boom. Like, this is step up too. Like, this, they'll be doing stop the yard dances to, to, to last, last. Like, what's going on, fam? At least Beyonce's Mama Africa dance that she does is to beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Song, yeah, I think, yeah. Those are the songs of the summer. And then... Mo- so what have been like your personal like moments? Obviously, we've been to concerts. We went Kate Trinada, Wireless Festival was happening. Um, like, you know, you know, you went to see Meg, Jason, didn't it? Oh yeah, <laughs> you went I to see to go Meg. To um, you know what, Meg and Wireless, Nikki, they've really annoyed me because it just Why? showed me that I hate it when people are late. Oh, like she was Meg late. Meg was like 50 minutes late. Ooh, Nikki five was zero. 40. Yeah, Nikki was 40. Because oh, we gosh. got the thing, doors open at seven. Mm. Yeah. We were supposed, she was supposed to be on like, like probably like eight. Mm. But why is she coming on at like to nine? Oh. I'm like, and then, but the thing is she gave a good performance. So I'll give her that. But with Nikki, Nikki came on like 45 minutes late and her performance was like, it was just quick. And she had like three outfit changes, but at least Megan tried to give us something. So I'll yeah. give her that. But yeah, the concert was good, but it was just too hot. But one thing I realized is that Meg really has a diverse fan base. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen white people. I was yeah. seeing broke men with their Damn, wives. She was even at um, um, Red and Ann Leeds, because obviously my, my mates were playing drums for Dave. Ooh. And I was watching the, the whole thing. And I was like, it was like mostly white people in the audience. Like, mo- really like most, and they were singing word for word. Yeah. When WAP came on, I was like, oh my gosh, oh. <laughs> these lot were losing their minds. See, Meg, she's she's something. She's gonna be here for long. She is. Now nah, she can put. Uh, I've seen snippets of her performances. Like she can. Nah, really she's she's, she's so good. She put the concert was amazing she's though. So Minus good. the lateness, the concert was amazing. Were there any opening acts or just like? Oh, uh, the DJ was sick. Don't yeah. Know if opening up, but the DJ was cold. He was playing like um, he played um, she played um, some Beyonce songs. Then some, oh, it was Tiffany Calvo, wasn't it? Yeah, and then yeah. some Nicki, and then just different rap girls' music, and then even Drake. He's, nah. a, he's a rap girl. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Drake is a rap he's, girl. He's one of the girls. <laughs> nah, <laughs> obviously, me, Ashley, showed the work. Kate Trinado was good. Stuffed. I thought, I thought, I thought it, was, it was amazing. It was just hot as hell. Yeah. It was hot as hell. If I didn't yeah. have one of my my fan, you would have died. I would have died in there. Yeah. 
But it was 10 out of 10. I loved it. Oh, he, he, just so did, he just didn't He just did play Go DJ, which really got I me. I know. I was fuming. He of played, he played every single song that I wanted him to play other than Go DJ. I was just like, oh, gosh. Did but you play Wild Side? Yeah. Yeah. He did. Oh, you, you sent me a snap. Oh, oh, snap. Oh, yeah. Because I was it, like, like where is Jason song. when I need him? I'm ready to pull up you. Literally. I literally screamed when it came on. I was like, what? I would have been great dancing in the middle. But my moment, my con, my moment was when I saw my wife, my babe, Scissor at oh, Pirates. Oh, yeah. Jeez. That was an... Her ad- performance was 10 out of 10. It was that so was good. sensational. You see the vocal problems she had before it? Nah, they're yeah. gone. Hey, they're man, gone. we've been praying they're for They're gone. gone. She must have had, like, surgery on her voice or something. Yeah, they're gone. Because it wasn't... You know how she... Because before, before, before she was struggling, but now I, I feel like she can sing really good now. But, no, Scissor, my... Mm. What? I'll see you. See, yeah, that's the thing. So I think cool. wireless overall, I feel like it was it was good. There were just things like her and Lucky Day being on at the same time really on different off. stages. Lucky different stages. Been on stage. That yeah. pissed me off so much because literally how much? Because it was literally the two people that I came to see was her and Lucky Day. Yeah. Two people. I was like, so literally I went to Lucky Day because her was a bit late. Went to Lucky Day. Heard her in the back of my so I was like okay let me run over there then when she stopped came back yeah and then I, I, and then I caught over yeah I caught, right I, caught, I, I caught over just as it just happened just at the end but at least I'm, I'm going to his concert in October so I'll be alright I'm left out I I'm sorry but I had to get oh, them no, lucky, man, day I had to. lucky day and Kalani I've seen them this year oh I can't think of Kalani oh um but did you see um what's her name at the concert the other day? Um Tiana Taylor. Uh, that yeah. looks really good. Yeah, Tiana Taylor looks really good. And this is her last that concert. Looks, so her last concert, her. yeah. Yeah. It looked really good. But them lap dances that she be giving, whew, they are aggressive. Child. No, I'd be like, me, please. Ah. Pick me. Pick. Well, you wish you was just oh, absolutely. Boom. Yes. Boom. Yes. And I'd be humping back too. Yes. They give it to me, Tiana. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. But yeah, no, that's I, feel like, I feel like Wilder should do more of what they did. Just have an R and B day. Hundred percent. Like that looks good. It, oh, it know, was so good. When I when I heard summer and then yeah. scissor back to back, I was oh like, my yeah. god! Right. I was like, oh. yes. Do you know? It was good. I feel like if Chloe and Halle were still doing oh together, gosh. and they were Them like to be together? on wireless, the way I would have missed out my dad's birthday. I'm sorry. I would have <clears> jumped <throat> to wireless quickly. And the I can't lie. I can't lie. The only thing they need to strengthen the lineup because Jack, I love you, but like no, no the Harlow, he was like he was there, oh, but I was scared for you, Jack James. Yeah, I miss Bear, no, but like the no, only, no, 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 Jack James, my guy, he needs he, he needs to be there next year at Wireless. Why was Jack Harlow on the R and B day? Because did you? They had I think they had black, they had black. I missed I missed black. Bro. They had was Blast there. Did yeah, that black Blast. Damn. Um, then they had Jack Harlow. I think Mahalia Jack was there as well. Yeah. yeah. It was Jack Harlow on main stage. Yeah. yeah. Of course he was. Oh, wow. Oh, I've I, been a G Two years a rapper on the R&B day. Yeah. On main stage. Yeah. Mm. But I think Ruby Rose was there that day as well. No? Oh, yeah, Ruby she Rose, was. She, she, she's allowed to be there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big Ruby Rose, Ruby you Rose. can be anywhere you want to. Mm. Oh, she can. She yeah. is. She, 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 Ruby mm. Rose. Hi. No, no. But, um, <laughs> hi. Jack should definitely have been at Crystal Palace. Yeah, that, that's yeah. He definitely gives Crystal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you know what? Like, I feel like yeah. What they should do with wireless is really make because they're doing two London days, Crystal Palace and um Finsbury Park. Just make each one have its own yeah. thing. We have yeah. rap there. We have R and B there because I hope that they actually see they saw how good R and B was on that Saturday. They, if they do it next year, I'll go wireless. They better. If they don't, they better. I'll go wireless. Who, who do you think should headline? Should headline uh, if they? Next if, year. Yeah. Kalani. <sighs> Kalani would be good. She deserves it. I was maybe, a, maybe not headline, but I think she should be on yeah. the lineup. I yeah. was a, the only thing I was annoyed about, but, but obviously. I think maybe Janae could headline. Yeah, because she was pregnant. She yeah, she yeah. was yeah. supposed Guys, to be there. Look, <laughs> no, she shouldn't no, headline. She could head, I think Janae could headline. I don't know. No. no the, the girls love Janae. She could be on the lineup. The, no, the girls love Janae Aiko. But the headline, I, I after, would go after, after what Janae. Susan did this year, no, she can't tap that. You better just stay on the lineup. No, nah. nah. I, mean, I think she could. Who would be good at headlining? Is either Summer. Summer would be good at headlining. Summer should have headlined. I think, I think she should have. I think her, because her could give a production, but people don't really like mm, 
Do you see? You see? Because now, now I saw her and Scissor on the same day. Hers probably, yeah. Sis, I think Scissor's just the catalog reaches more and people. The, yeah. yeah, and I think the performance level. See, that's why I think Kalani is is different. The Kalani's got because when I saw Kalani yeah. at Yam Carnival, remember? Yeah. She well, was for the amazing. fifteen minutes that she was exactly. there. She was giving. So I feel she like even, Kalani yeah, probably, being she probably headlined, could headline. Yeah. But she could dance. She could sing, and she has a good catalog mm-hmm. from her EP. So now, yeah. dark, it has to be Kalani next year. Yeah. But I definitely feel like more UK artists should be on the R and B days. Yeah, well. yeah Flo has to be there. Flo, oh, absolutely. Bella should be there. Mm. Yes, uh, Tiana Major. Tiana Major, yes. should be there. Who else? Um, Men- Jack. Yeah, how do you say her name? Mahalia. Mahalia. No, Men- Mahalia. Oh, Men- Manilia. Yeah, yeah. Manilia. she should be there. Jack James. <coughs> Oh, Deo so Bello. I've got, I've, I've got a bone to pick with. I love you, UK artist. Yeah, I got, I love you lot. Listen. You lot that release your music on TikTok here, yeah, release the snippet. Oh my and, gosh. And, and then don't and release don't the song. And don't the song ready. Oh, no. This is what happens when you don't management. Listen, there's a guy. You my guy. Listen, J, J again, J, XO, what she telling me? Yeah, that one. How does the song go? XO, what she telling me? I'll, I'll play it. It's, it's a, I'll play it. It's a six one. It's a six song. But he's released the snippet on TikTok for months. Yeah. The song isn't out yet. Human. New UK artist. Yeah. If you know you've got fire. I think I saw one girl did it. Um the soldier one. No, 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 no. Her song, the song's called Foolish. Um, she, did, she, I think she only did like a couple of weeks beforehand, and then she dropped the song. Like it was. It That's was, fine. Months. Yeah, no. Months. It reminds me of Darko's one because remember oh, yeah. when she dropped that snippet that a year ago. And then she dropped it at Christmas. She's lucky that TikTok wasn't popping like then and people really wanted it right there. Mm. Yeah. But, but nah, man. Yeah, I feel like... Because I, I would have, obviously, Janae, Summer, Kalani. Hmm. Only says if she drops this bloody music. I, I would want Lucky Day to headline, but I know they weren't getting Nah, the but he should have been on main, main stage, though. though. Him on yeah, him upgraded on upgraded to main stage. He should have been on main stage. But I need... This is why I said I need a guy, r and artist that can... Maybe give Brent? the dancing. The but Lucky Day's a good performer, though. Who? Who? Lucky Day's a very good performer. Oh, he's yeah, amazing. He's a very good he's performer. Amazing. And he's he dances amazing. as well, isn't he? Hmm? He dances a little bit. A little bit. A little bit, but it's just more so... I think... I, think, I remember you bought... I remember because I saw you bought a girl on stage and that girl was having the time of her life, fam. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. She's having the time of her life. She bring me yeah. on the stage, Lucky. Oh my god! Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> this October one, if I don't see you on stage, ah, I, I will push my way to the front I'm and say, you, "Baby father, come and take me now." But because I'm you oh, guys, I would give it. I told my friends, whoever I'm going with, yeah, Lauren. I told her what we're gonna do. We are going to be at the front. Yeah, right? I said to my Early. girl, my girl Dan, we're pushing to the front. We are you pushing. Think I'm gonna I be don't get, care because after going Meg and then getting there at that time, and it was like. All around the whole O2 that we had to line up. Mm. I was like, yeah, nah. Yeah, that I'm was like, Mas- Masego was like that. Masego was like, oh, that's like another that. one that should be at the wireless. Yes. That's another a one. Main stage or small stage? Um, I'm, I say small he stage. Be, he, he probably won't be on the small stage. Yeah, I'll probably say small stage, but. I don't think, like, I don't think he, he has the reach for, for the main nah, stage yet. Yeah. But. He should though, but he just doesn't. Oh, guys. Not yet. Um, do you think Georgia Smith has passed her peak? I, I don't know about has. that one. I don't know. Do you know what it is? I really liked the first album, but then... Yeah, it was really good, but... Did like, she, she... I even heard she dropped a second album, but I didn't... Yeah, no, it was an EP, a okay. summer thing. I think it was last year. Do you know what it is? I thought it was a combination of things. I don't know. What, what I feel it? like Georgia isn't liked a lot, but also... Yeah, I just haven't heard much from her. Is I feel like what happened is that... When she was first started popping, everybody liked her because of her voice. And when they started seeing her more for how she looked, guys started liking her yeah. and being obsessive with it. Yeah. And then people started to dislike her because they thought she was only popping because she's good looking. Which but is not knowing yeah. that she was And I think voice. it was also because of the, the anything. Yeah. The, the and then colors. that made it worse. But yeah. yeah. But I feel like, yeah, the anything was just a... For me, I, I, but the I mean, thing is, I that, had, that, I, had, that had nothing to do with George. Though. Yeah, he just jumped on a song. Because any was asked good. her to be on the song, so yeah. it was, like, it was just the fact that obviously the girl, what's the, the girl on the original? What was her name? Amy or something? Yeah, the girl on the original. Like, obviously, you would want the the original girl. She would want to be on colors to like get more more like yeah, of course, exposure and stuff. But it's like you kind of just use Georgia, just you know, so they pay black girls in area code. code. <laughs> These black girls need to be in the show. <laughs> Sorry, the way that starts. Don't is touch so my hair. Oh, that part. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Don't. That cringe me so much. <laughs> no, but I mean, I mean, they provided. Yeah, I don't know. So it's a techie situation, but for me, it just provided more exposure for any idiot. And then, yeah. Now, 
But yeah. Georgia Smith songs, uh, there's one song I've been playing. I forgot the name. I'll show you guys after. And I feel like good. I feel like Georgia as well. The reason why people said, "Oh, she's not that good" as well, is because the covers weren't great. The she covers, needs to let go yeah, the covers. Georgia Smith, I like her actual the, music is good. Because the way she good. sings sometimes, it's mm -mm. just like, <sighs> like Curse Smith. Yeah, she yeah. Sings in like she needs to sing her own songs. Like yeah. it's best because she can sing her own songs. Yeah, like it's just covers. It's just like yee. It's like the way everybody and, knows not to touch Beyonce songs. Yeah, but it's, especially. Frank Ocean lost. I was like, nah, babe. That was yeah, no, and the, and the never too much as well. Oh. When she sang never too much, Lu like, oh. you singing Lufa? <laughs> You're <laughs> And she was just. Oh my gosh! Fun fact: My mum actually saw him in concert, and I was like, that yeah, is so rude. Is Lufa not How just dare alive? you? No. no. When did he die? Ages ago. Years ago. I Probably was it in the eighties. Eighties. No, he died no in the 80s. I think that no, early two thousands. Early two thousands. Yeah. 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 Early two thousands. Yeah. yeah. So I was speaking to her the other day and she was like, yeah, I saw Lufa and I saw Whitney Houston in concert. I said, oh, I just said you saw you Whitney dirty Houston witch. in concert. How dare you? Whitney I'm so Houston. jealous. I can't, I'm not even going <laughs> to attempt to sing it. Yeah. Mm -mm, I don't want to hurt. But, but yeah. yeah, what was your favourite summer like event? Not, pop, not concert, but just event. Recess. Recess. What, the one I am still yet, yet to go to a recess party. But growing oh the box up was ridiculous. Graydon, was the best thing. I, when they played High School Musical, it was just beautiful because everybody was singing it. <laughs> but that event was amazing. It just showed you how black people in London are so nah, good vibes. Big like, up everybody recess, said that they're bad vibes, but no, at that no, place, man, I can't, yeah. what was good I can't, I've been to like three recesses this year. Recess is all I go to any. now. Not Ash. Next one that I comes know. on, I'm sending it to the group chat. We will have to yeah, go. I'll just buy the tickets and then I'll just tell you guys. Yeah, yeah and I'll just pay you back. Because <laughs> that's what I got my other one. No, no, but, no but you see every the tickets, time eh? I see they're the going tickets, like, they go. Every no, they're time. going like, no, I can't, but they need to do it. Every time. I'd say, yeah, because the best recesses are the Box Park ones, though. Yeah, yeah. the Croydon ones. The, oh, what? Because. Because no one's going to Wembley, though. Yeah, yeah no, Wembley's a bit of a trick. Because the way, the way people were pat and they were just singing with their chest, I was like, oh, this is a sensational. Even when you see the line and see how many, you see the melanin in the line. Yeah, you, know, you see the fine babes coming in. Oh lord, uh, sensational! Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think I think that's the event. Yeah, that's the, the next recess. I need to be there, hundred percent. We need to go. Nah, oh, man, that's the like, recess, you know. Nah, yeah. summer. Listen, summer, know. summer. Well, how did you, did any of you go carnival? Yes. Oh, no, I was supposed to. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, carnival was. I enjoyed myself, child. It was amazing. Yeah, you guys saw. Like, I you enjoyed guys myself. Enjoyed. I don't care what nobody says. I enjoyed. It's a carnival. Monday was a little bit girl. But I still enjoyed it. Monday. Everybody was saying that Sunday was the best. Yo, Sun oh, Sunday was. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to start going Sundays oh. now because you know, Monday is congestion Sunday charge. Is everything. It's just. Uh, it, you're okay, then, no, do you know what? No, next but yeah, year, next year, guys, I'm, I'm going in costume. 100%. No, next year, I, 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 I'm, I'm going, I want to be on a float. Mm. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going in full costume yeah. next year. Yeah. yeah. After just happening because I, it's I don't want to be packed in there like a tin of sardine. <laughs> it's not even that. It's just the hot. vibes is just better. Like I don't I don't mind it being packed. It's just the vibes and like you get to be like right next to the the music and the, you you don't have to keep walking. Like you just stay you in your little section. You, you can, can chill. Drive. They give you yeah. food and drink. Like it's just. Do you know what's mad? I was supposed to be on the TikTok float this year. Really? But. Mentally, I wasn't there, so I said I'm not oh, going anymore. That would have been minute. lit, man. But they sent me like some nice shoes to mm -hmm. wear. Yeah, because I saw Bear Pick, I saw Big Up Marsha. Marsha was on the TikTok floor. Yeah, yeah. she was. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Looks, Simply Shia, so bear, bear people on the TikTok. It looked fun. Yeah, Shia was there. She looked. She looked <laughs> sweet, bruv. Sweet, sweet, sweet. But yeah, I had a fine, I had a good time nah, at Carnival. I don't understand was... why people were chatting shit. I had a great time. Nah, Carnival. <laughs> oh, a bit too good. Speaking of Carnival, <laughs> did you see. The bus stop. Oh, of course I did. The bus stop. I feel sorry for the girl in the blue because she just banged her business. I saw, her, I saw her TikTok and she's all right. Oh. I saw her TikTok and she's all right. But for bro. those of you who are unaware, I don't know how you're unaware. I don't know how you're unaware. <laughs> there was a vid of obviously carnival, you know, people were dancing on top of bus stops. So there was, at least she started off with one girl, you know, doing her own thing. Then a group of people started to climb like Tarzan on top of the thing. Yeah, that was that. And then the bus stop, the bus stop said the this bus stop much. collapsed. I can't take it. The bus <laughs> stop said the bus the, stop said Mickey, I'll take it. The bus stop said the pressure is getting <laughs> worse. <laughs> and they you know, collapsed. The Mickey, you know what's so it. terrible about that moment is the fact that from somebody else's point of view, you saw the way they just dropped. And like they all dropped into each other. I feel like somebody broke some bones then. Listen, yeah. there was one gal in blue. I yeah, hope you're I okay. She's, she's all right, but she had to go to hospital just to check. Because, because concussion. That, the way her neck just collapsed. Twist and turn. I said, 
boy. I would have been so embarrassed when I got home, like minding my business and not busting me because of Yeah, but the thing is, she she is a bit of a rookie because, babe, if you see six people on top of the bus, why are you gonna walk underneath it? Why are you gonna walk underneath it? No, but but you see. There are some people who are no bad, man, because the funny part is, when you freeze each frame, you see everyone's reaction. There was one guy that was laughing. I was smiling, he had the hands in the air. I was like, bruv, carnival. That's alcohol for you. It's, it's, boy, it's not for the faint-hearted. I'm so sort of uh, embarrassed, though, because I know there's bare people there. Yeah, everyone and their mum was there. I even saw this one. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can't even. Yeah, I saw you. I what do you mean? Even uh, Were you that drunk? So he doesn't even remember, because he was finished. I was done. <laughs> I was done. He was finished. I saw you and your little friends. Yeah, I saw it. I was wicked Ray. Like, what would you be? The heritage. Uh, wow. I wish I went now. This would have been lit. Mm -hmm. you would be there. Literally, I was having withdrawals like the day after. I was like, bro, get me back outside. on the road now. And the food. Get oh. me back. I had a nice, I had a... I'm, I'm feeling like the only person. I didn't have any food. Mm -mm. <laughs> I didn't have any food. I was just drinking all day. I had no food. Nah, man. I had to eat. I had to, grab, I had to grab a little something. I not bother. And the lines were so long and they were moving so slow. And I was like, I'm trying to wind my way. So we're nah, just going to have to keep moving. Yeah. And we just had a Mackey's afterwards. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, man. Listen, summer was lit. It was great. But the part of summer that I didn't enjoy. The, the, whole, the whole manosphere, the whole alpha male pod. Speaking of one guy, Mr. Andrew Tate got, got kicked off the internet. Good, Mr. Andrew Tate. Good for, yeah, if you've been living on the rock, Mr. Andrew Tate is a guy, you know, he likes to give self help advice to men who can allegedly, you know, big yourself up. I didn't even know who he was. I can't lie. You didn't know who he was? I had no idea who he was until everyone was talking about it. I just keep seeing his name pop up here and there, and I saw like one pic of him, but I think uh, this is when he got banned. Yeah. Mm. Now, I saw him. I, I saw him. I've been to, to discuss him. This is kind of a topic we touched on before, but it was like, Bro, just some man, just man them on pods, man them were just talking, talking, talking. I don't know where the hell did this come from because before the podcast universe used to be nice, calm, harmonious. Now it's see, it's because of you black girls, yeah. It's because of this, it's because of that. That's what the man them started doing. I was just saying, I was thinking, no, 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 what? No, 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 I was thinking, why you putting that shit in that shit? Nah, no, 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 this nigga knows not to try me. He know, it, no one knows not to try me. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. nah. I ain't one of them guys. But yeah, it's just funny. But you can't come for a fellow Caribbean. I think I went back then. Jason. <laughs> Which island are you from, my bro? Canaan Island. <laughs> Who? Huh? Canaan Island. Can it's the Cayman Islands, the first Cayman of all. Islands. The Cayman Islands. Okay. Cayman. Cayman. Oh, wow. Get it right. I don't know what to get right, so you need to get it right. Carry on. Y yeah. That's what you're saying. Yeah, just stay hating. But yeah, it's like, where did these pod... Uh, my question is, is like, where did these podcasts come from? And why do people feel so empowered to talk rubbish on the internet? It's because... Microphones are accessible to anyone, so your opinions are <laughs> you allowed can buy to be them on open. Amazon for fifty pounds. <laughs> but you guys don't understand what is the problems with podcasts. Let me break it down. So lately, there's been an infestation of microphones <laughs> that are becoming damaging to black people, especially as <laughs> giving skin disease. So if you touch <laughs> a microphone, you are prone to losing your life. So I feel like a lot of us should stay away from touching microphones and leave podcasts alone if you want to live. Wow, that's a fact. Yeah. Wow, well, I, 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 and who's more at risk of catching in infection from these microphones? The Negro men. men. The Negro men. Men. The Negro wow. men. Men. But I feel like I feel like it's because we we started to follow <laughs> the Americans' wayward ways of yeah. podcasting. Do we see British ones like that? That's so the thing. Ooh. It's I not not often. I see a few, but not often. It's mainly the Americans. Yeah, they're just be chatting rubbish. Like everyone knows America. They are. Weird. Like I even saw a video the other day on TikTok where he was like, the, they were on a podcast talking, and he was like, "Ah, oh, women don't cook and clean for men anymore. Why? Why? Why is that?" And then the guy was like, "Um, because they're tired." He was like, "Tired of what?" He was like, Obviously. "Working." <laughs> no, he was like, "So they don't want to cook and clean because they're tired." What does that the problem? Like? Is he was like, "Uh, yeah." See, the problem is with y'all modern day ass women oh. is y'all don't know how to respect y'all king. I am the, I'm the what king I of this. That. I am the king of this. I am the king of this goddamn That's cat. what I have to say to that. I am, I am <laughs> an a, a African king. So you shall treat. And America it's the way the Americans love to say that. Africa, you don't even know where you're from, you sir. Say, you don't know where you're from. I'm royalty, but you don't, you don't even know your where you're grandparents, from. grandparents. You so like, where do we go from here? I, I don't even be just. I'm from to Wakanda. No, it's, it's facts. But at the same time, they say stuff like that. They're from Wakanda, a made-up place. 
Someone said that you can't get past the gates of Wakanda is from Marvel. That's not even real. Dr. Umar's killing my people. He is, though. Low key. You know he's coming to Camberwell? For why? Dude, he's going to do a seminar at Camberwell. <laughs> Did he do a seminar in... The location Wakanda? just tells you everything you need to know. Yeah, but it makes sense. The heart of the black... The, of the South Flood, the black you know community, the location, Camberwell. It, that just tells you everything. That, yeah. That, you know, no. Dr. Umar. He needs to go to Lewisham. For what reason? No, he needs to go to he Stratford. To he needs to go to Stratford. Yeah, Stratford and Lewisham. The main spots are craziness. Mm-hmm. You think? Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, but that, that nigga Andrew Tate, yeah, he just, he, yeah, he deserves to be silenced. I'm so sorry. Because some of the things that he's saying. Crazy. Look, look, he's, a, he's a madman. Do you know what? Do you know, it's not even Andrew, it's the people, yeah, because I, 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 re, I did research. He no, it's like, him. It's him. It's the people that give money to him as well, because it's like, you subscribe. Man, them would go to, like, he has a thing called Hustlers University, Jeez. where you pay, like, you pay, like, a monthly fee, and be, you basically get lectures. From Andrew Tate on how to be a on man. What? How to be a man. How to how have to a be business. a man. Yeah, and it's like raw. You man, are you're human. paying for lectures on how to be you're a man. You're paying another man on how Good to be Lord. a man. Good and, and and these will be the same guys that will say I'm an alpha male. Tragic. I just I can't even do it. Tragic. The seed is, but I'm glad the you UK hasn't been infected too tough. Yeah. But yeah, no. I do feel like. But it's because a lot of things he's saying are very dangerous. Like women, women are property. Like that's just because who was the other one that used to do that? Oh, Kevin Samuels. Oh yeah, yeah. R.I.P. But Aquarius. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Kevin <laughs> Samuels. <laughs> Jack. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry to that man. That's sad. But yeah, Love Island. It wrapped up. Oh yeah, Finally. finished. How about that? How did you feel about the season overall? I think it was a good season. It, was it had elements of people. It was better than last season for sure. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like there was definitely some crazy people in there. Such as? Luca, Jax. Mm-hmm. Because the thing about Jax is like, that guy, he left the show because of his mental health. And they started. He, he was rubbish. He was bullying Tasha outside. But that's the thing. And he became a face of mental health for Love Island. But it was like, he's just a typical bully. Like you do one thing to someone and then when, once it's done to you, when now Adam you came in, that's when health. his mental health was his own priority. Yeah, shut up, bro. Like you don't like him and somebody above you can pattern you. And he did, Adam didn't even need to talk to him. So you dish, but you can't take. Girl. Literally. Like he's just wet. And then Lucas, well, I, the show, thank God, is over. And I think, <laughs> do you think it dragged towards the end? Yeah. yeah. I, towards the end, I was just like, nah, I really don't like these people. Yeah. I was just watching it here and there. I think I only watched the final. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big up Ekansu. Yep. Up I knew Ekansu was gonna win. Yeah, I know. Our, our, our babes India, our it girl India. Yep. I love India. her. With I love the her. P- I can't lie, you know. I feel like David Day hmm? is kind of using Ekansu because he they're using each other. I think they're using knows, each other. He knows that Ekansu is everyone loves her because once she left the show. She clocked that everybody loves her. And now all the time I see on these story, I'll be in Ekansu went out on a date and he's always posting paparazzi pictures. I'll be in my Ekin, this, that. I'm like, ah, calm but, down. but do you know who look good together? Dami and India. Oh. They look so good together. That, that aesthetic, like they, oh like, they gosh, look, they look so really. Cute. It's Dami and India and Tasha and Andrew. They yes. Yeah, they look cute. Do you know what? I didn't do de- like Tash. Um, hey, Andrew's actually a very good looking guy. Like, I, I said de- this from the look, I, look I, back in the receipt. I said Andrew is pictures. good milk and nobody believes me. No, because, because of the show, the way he was acting on the show. The way he was acting, he was a waste man. However, down. that doesn't take away from the fact that he's still good milk. Okay? Nah, I said yeah. this from day one. Do you know what it is? Like, people became a lot more likable. Like, I, I wasn't okay. a fan of Tasha in the beginning, but yeah. towards the end, I was like, you know what? Because like, I clocked it. Yeah, I didn't like her, but at the end of the day, like they were, they stayed together. Like they went for the yeah. outfit downs. Like, 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 you can't hate. Like is, it's the thing is, it's like it's not. And she was truthful to it. Yeah, yeah she was. She was. I, yeah, I think she was taking it for Edia at the beginning. She was. But, you know, but. It's what it is. The yeah, game's a game. They're not happy together. They're happy together. They look yeah. beautiful together. They get matching. Ta- they got matching tattoos. You yeah. know? And their speeches. Yeah, game. Yeah. Oh, that made me cry. I cried to Tasha and Andrew's speech. Yeah. Because him, like him, talking about her disability and everything, and saying that my little superpower was out. Yeah, they are cute. That's you something can't, you so can't even sweet. Lie, but cute. certain islanders love to talk. I can't lie. Certain islanders have disgraced themselves post season. Madame Coco. Oh. oh. Blab her mouth. <laughs> Oh, that Jeez. girl. That girl. is the oh whole of Castle. Oh, I'm sorry. All of them, man. I'm so tired of her. Even Deji, I liked you, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. until he started saying, oh, the idea was kissing lipsy, me lipsy up. Me she was doing this, and Deji had to pat him. Like, no. They, all it was weird she, didn't even, she didn't even remember the kiss. She was like, I, I gave you a kiss, thank you, because like, you gave me a, a peppermint tea. Ah! 
Yeah, I like, just yeah, like, like we're lips in off, bruv. Relax. But you, you know, I like relax. This is not like Dabby and um, what's he, Dabby and Deji's friendship. Yeah. But they're still good friends. And Dami and Ikenna too. Dami Dami and oh, no, no, Deji, I mean, sorry, Ikenna. Ikenna, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Dami and Ikenna, yeah. Talk about Deji. Sorry, Dabi and Ikenna's friendship, yeah. I like them. Yeah, yeah man. I feel, like, and I feel like, you know, this season, you know, we've already seen that Madame India, big up India, she got the, you know, she, she's she got, you know, her, her PLT marketplace still. She got her... Boots still, boot, all at the same time. Still, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Making shmoney. She's about to hit Breaking one. generational love island curses of black women. You know what she's I'm saying? She broke, because deep it, she's the first, like, she didn't go through no traumatic love story. She was well designed. She well like... She and made, even when the guy on trying to play games, she she was smart as well because she's from London. Yeah. She brought back someone else. So yeah, well. she had, you know, and she for me, she 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 one of the prettiest girls to ever go in there. Yeah, so, black or white. Yeah. yeah, period. And then she came up with the bag, which is the most important thing. Come up with the bag. Come up with your and like, This man. is the first time everyone has loved a black girl on the show. Yeah, everyone. yeah. There's nothing. No, there's actually nothing bad you can ever say. We about didn't that see girl, no ever. no dumb headlines. No, yeah. reason. no, no reason. She didn't get to, well. She, did, even she did a little bit, but she didn't really get taken for idiot like yeah. too tough. Like obviously, no. and she brought Deji back. So like, it was it, no. But she was it, playing it was, the game though. It wasn't really was. idiot. It was like she was playing the game because at the end of the day, she got what she wanted. Yeah, yeah, she did. She wasn't there crying over no man. Yeah, no. Nah. You didn't see her go. Mm. Yeah, no. Someone was crying, but not not her. Who yeah. summer? Yeah. Yeah, someone was fine, babe. Though, yeah, she's lame. Fine, no, I've seen I, her in real uh, life. No, fine, I really babe. Did so you seen her in real life? Huh? You said you seen her in real life. Yeah. You know, I'm, 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 in Brixton. Oh, 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 swear. Mm. Oh. I did really love what you call it, Summer Danica, Danica, and um. And India's India friendship. friendship. Yeah, they were yeah. Cool. They seem they call themselves the Powerpuff Girls. They seem really. Nah, like, they seemed really close, man. Mm. They seemed really close, but they yeah, man. Just some island is coming out of the season. Mm mm. Listen, listen. If, if you go on the island and you and you get eliminated around Castle or more, listen, when you do your interviews, keep the islanders' names pim because we don't want to hear from you. We don't. Because all you lot do is lie and then when the finalists come back to tell their side of the story, you just come and embarrass yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was saying? literally Coco and Paige. Oh, Ugh, Paige. I don't mind. Wait, I, did, I didn't really see... What the issue was with Paige? Did she was just annoying. She no, was just annoying, and I could tell that she was problem. she was just a bit of a like the way. Obviously, like I hear her her side of the story, but that whole thing where she was like, um, "Excuse me, like we're having a conversation. Can you just like not yeah. be over here?" Oh, I was just like, "This is dead." And then it's like the way she'll be pulling her faces at people. Yeah, I'm like, "Why are you always screwing up your face? Always screwing up mm. her face. Like you're not gonna say anything." And then and the problem that we had is that then when she goes to her confessional, that's when she'll be opening her mouth and saying stuff. Mm. But I was like, "Why did you not say this when the person was right there?" Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. She did, and like a lot of people, a lot of the girls that will come out and say like Paige was just a bit like. Not standoffish nice. bitchy standoffish i hate so. you. but i definitely think that this is like because what season was obviously last season was with toby and them like ill this is but this was better than the winter island before i don't was this better than season the season where amber won it no 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 i don't think i took that one i'm sorry that no. season was chaotic no that was the is best. that season and season two yeah i probably put this third then mm. probably put this third yeah. no because you have Josh's um season with yeah, um, that was Kaz. even crazier. Oh, that was a good season. So I thought and like Adam, I, I so don't believe that guy. Two, it goes season two, Amber season. Where's the season? Yeah, that's with Adam. Yeah, and, and then, then this one. Yeah, and then um Marcel season. Yeah. And then um Toby, um Toby and the uh, winter they can fight out. Yeah, Actually, but that, the winter one was dead last. That's because who who was on the other? Um, Finley and um, um, Paige. Michael the and Leanne. They were on the winter one. Yeah. Michael, Michael, Michael Leanne, Leanne and Priscilla. And Priscilla. I was on top. Michael and Leanne, Priscilla. Where the girl, what, the girl she was like. Oh, Michael and Leanne. I was thinking, who are these people? <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. Yeah. And she was like, you're obsessed no, with that, me. No, that, that, that season was bad, man. It was terrible. And, but the thing, they're going to do a win. Oh, I love Alan and I don't. I don't Again? Care. Yeah. Mm. Who said this? They're going to do a winter one. Did they not see from the last winter one that it was terrible? No, they maybe not. I think it's oversaturation because how are you gonna do summer and winter? You're gonna do two yeah, it's, islands it's, a year? It's too much. It's too much. One eight, the winter one better be short. Sure. Maybe like four weeks or something. Yeah. Or six weeks. Because yeah, the American one is is only six weeks. It's so short. Yeah, make it good. short. The American one's good. I said it was a new lovers blind season as well. 
It's dating and related. Oh, dating and related. I then. got you. Is that even good? I don't Nothing. know. I don't want to watch tell that. You. Netflix is just spamming all of these shows. Keep yeah. talking about it. Bring back dating, 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 dating shows. I really want to start ultimate. watching. I really want to start about married, married, married at first sight. Yeah, I'm, my cousin's watching it. I've heard it's good. And I was watching it at Channel 4 and I was like, damn, it's really good. Mm. But apparently the Australian one is the craziest Oh, one. the Australian one and is so the mad. The American one is they what, actually the real to get married. Yeah, the Australian one is funny as hell. And the American one, you actually do get married. Yeah, because I've heard good things about the uh, about the British one still. Yeah, the British one, whew. So much happened. I was watching the other day with my cousin. How many episodes like, in? I think they're like two, three, two or three weeks in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably catch up tomorrow. Even TV shows, what, like, what TV shows recently or like recent-ish memory have you been like? Stranger Things is still top tier because that volume, oh, the second volume with them two episodes, that were really good. But I love a TV show. I've only just started watching, I started watching Superstar and I finished it. Mm -hmm. That's a good show. I cried at the end. For me, best TV show I've seen this year is probably The Boys. Oh, the, yeah, everybody's talking about that. The boys. Yeah, bare people are watching that. Nah. Is it good? Yeah, it's proper. It's, it's mad. It's I tried proper it. Proper good. I can't get past the first episode. Nah, trust me. Like, Was it on Amazon Prime? Amazon Prime. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, stick with it. Like, I'm I'm messing with it. I'm messing okay. with it heavy. What about House of Dragons? Yes. House of Dragons. I'm, yeah. I'm, Do you have to watch the Game of Thrones to understand no, it, though? You don't? Because no, House you of Dragons okay. is before Game of Thrones. Yeah, wait, like, okay. hundreds of years before. All right, maybe I'll start it then. House of Dragons. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. everyone's telling me to watch Game of Thrones, but I just can't be bothered. There's no, too many seasons, no. too many episodes. Like, just, the episodes are, like, 50 Yeah, they're, they're, like, an Worst hour long. And then for the ending to end the way it did, God forbid. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm going to get into it. Nah, you can watch House of Dragons just straight up, innit? But You guys need to watch Bullet Train. Yeah, I is that movie that good? I've heard good things it about is it. It's so good. Is it? Okay. I'm telling you, don't wait until it comes on TV. Watch it in the cinema. cinema. Yeah. Because it's did you, did you watch Nope? I actually liked Cause it. Because I heard mixed reviews. I heard some people said it was dead, and some people said it's, it was really good. That's the thing. When I, before I watched I it, know. I was hearing mixed reviews. I was gonna say, oh, let me just watch it on TV. But my friends were saying, let's go. So we watched it. I was like, I actually did like it. Mm. Like I got the plot line. I understood it. People said I didn't understand it. I was like, you definitely weren't listening. But bad people but, say that about Jordan Peele films in general, though. It's because but, they like because they always hype it up. Ever since Get Out, they hype up every film. The way it's not really, uh, like hitting the way they like to Get Out. That's I, what they want to say. Because I heard the same dead. thing people say about Us. But I was like, Us, Us was, was sick. good. Us was sick. Nope is a good so movie. Good. And the thing is, the critics try to say that Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer had no chemistry. Huh? They had the best Just chemistry. from the clips I've seen on Twitter, they had really good chemistry. Nah, I was watching all Where he, he was like, like, like siblings. they had the, the high five yeah, team. Yeah, I was yeah. like, come on. I was like, when they spoke about their dad, they didn't speak about it too much because you know movies, they like to drag on the past, why they don't like each other, da, da, da. but it's like, it was good. The whole movie, I loved it. People say that they, they didn't get it, they didn't like it. That's because you guys were probably on your phones tweeting about it instead of watching it mm -hmm. or you fell asleep. That's your own. But I would say my film of the summer is Everything Everywhere All oh, At Once. Oh, yeah. Is that Everything good? Everywhere All At Once is my f What? That, that might be my film of the year. That's come out this year. What it's easy. That the bullet train. That movie, actually, I quite, I'm not even going to describe it. Go into it blind. It's on Amazon Prime. Okay, yeah, Prime. Ashley, go and watch it. Okay. Like, I will. don't even watch a trailer. Is go that the one with the Asian lady? Yeah. Yes. It's reality. Oh, yeah. it's... Okay. Ten ten. Watch the trailer, just go straight. Ten ten. It okay, is. Ten ten. Ah, oh, do you know when it starts and then you just jump because of the sound? I like, damn, this movie's gonna be good. No, it's when yeah, it's when they keep like, it's when like it, obviously the different, different title universes. comes. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And you just see, and you see the different realities. I'm like, oh my, no. it's so creative. The it's, movie and the, and the thing is the whole idea of it, the plot of it is so nice to hear. Like when you go mm. to the end, you might even cry. Cause yeah, because it's heartwarming. Really? It was really nice. It's, it's really... like a realization. Do you know what it is? I, I like the fact that it was creative and it was like out there, but like it still had like that grounded element towards that like family yeah. and if like companion. Oh, the Oscars man. better be giving like nominations. Hundred percent. Mm. Because the thing is, A twenty four movies are always sick because they go they go a step further. But the Oscars. What's another good A twenty four movie that you um, recommend then? Flip, flip, flip. I'll give you a list later on, but I know I watched one earlier in the year. Mm. Even Bodies, Bodies, Body, everybody was talking about that. I see the trailer, I don't really like it, but people are saying it's good, some people are not. But I'll give you, A24, they have good movies. Nah, I feel you. Oh, flip, I cause, cause, cause yeah, a movie like that took me by surprise, isn't it? Because like, you know, now we're in that blockbuster season, it's like every movie follows a certain formula. So when you saw a movie like that, I was like, yeah. Oh, this is different. 
Mm. This is different. I fuck with it. Like and I feel like this year is like I felt like the movies have been much better mm. compared to the last few years. Because the last few years the movies were good. Don't get me wrong, but it was like they, I always think to myself, I gotta watch this at home. Mm. But this year I've gone to the cinema and I've like, yeah. It was so like, well, like, like, so, like, so everything everywhere all yeah. at once. Multiverse, I had to watch that in the cinema. Yeah. I really liked it. It, it was a cinema movie. Um. <laughs> Like, carry, on. carry on Batman I had to watch that in the cinema the Batman but one cool. thing I didn't like about Batman it got to a certain point I was like this movie should have ended an hour it's long <laughs> Batman's three hours long it didn't the, I was really? like there was just too many scenes this is what you call a blu-ray disc keep it for that there was too many scenes there was they like love him saving gosh. people him doing this for people I'm like nah get off my screen <laughs> Oh. It was very dialogue heavy, but it was, the thing I like about ba- like they, the thing I like about Batman though was the tone and the mood, and it was like, yeah, yeah. Was like, this, yeah. Is <laughs> this is vengeance. <laughs> and then, Maybe I'll watch the it. Last Onion is coming out. Knives Out Part Two. Have you watched Knives Out? Yeah. Yeah, the second one's coming out on Netflix. Okay. And it has a whole new cast. Mm-hmm. Jenna Bernays in it. Um, oh. Batista's in it. Okay. And it's set on a, a cruise ship. Okay. I think Ooh. yeah. And Daniel Craig is still in it, but it's so good. Yeah. Even Daniel Craig's movie, No Time to Die, the last James Bond movie. Oh, that was the best so really good. actually good. It was just long as hell. Really like, I like James Bond. It was but so like, long. I watched it. Yeah, it was long. It was long. But the movie was sick. It was good. The 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 best, me, though, I was like, this is the yeah. best James Bond movie that he's been in. I don't think so. Personally, for I, me. I think Skyfall is. Nah, Casino Royale for me. <gasps> You're right. Casino Royale is the best one. That's the first one. That's the best one. Casino Royale is the best one. Because the way I was amazing. No time to die, I did like yeah. it. Yeah. Even, even Billie Eilish singing in the beginning, I was like, yeah. yeah when she did that performance back in 2020 at, B, uh, at the Brits, I was yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> Billie Eilish, she deserved to be in this. Her, I think her one is better than Jay Smith's. Uh, not Jay Smith. Sam Smith. Sam Smith. Yeah, easy. Yeah. Easy. I think Adele's is the best one, though. Yeah, yeah. When? And then Shirley Bassey, of course. Mm-hmm. Of course. Mm-hmm. In fact, even, even of like, who would you say is on like an artist this year? Like, who's really just like... Take, like, not even taken over the year, but like just had a great year this year. Minus Beyonce, because Beyonce's had a successful year, but she doesn't care. She That's, every year's a successful but year, though. It's not every releases. year. Not every year she releases. It's yeah, pretty much. Every year she releases. Yeah, but who's had a successful year? Olivia would, Rodrigo was like, Harry Because I want to say Dojo was last year, innit? Yeah, Dojo was last yeah, year. Really Harry really Styles has had a great year this year. Until that, until that article set him up. Yeah. That article Why set him up. Why would this kick off? They oh, set him up. They, they did it on purpose. Oh yeah, they did it on someone purpose. Hates him in that team. Yeah, they sorry, did it on purpose. They were like, yeah, because I I know Harry probably read that. Said, why why are you not doing this to me? Like, I did I did I did say I'm the king of pop artists. That's T. That's had a really who's, good who's year. Who's music this year, Drake. But no, nah, that hasn't been mm. a good year for him. Nah, Kendrick's had a good year, but for what? The album was good. That album came and went. Nah, the album's there. The album's nah, there. It came and went still. Really? It came away. I, f- I, I, no, I it's a, the thing is, it's a great album, but it doesn't really have much replay value for me personally. Like I listen, the thing is, I listen Only to a f- I listen to a few songs, but the whole album is yeah. oh, start to finish, start to finish, enough. yeah. I but did you see hard. the video for We Cry Together? Oh, amazing! No, the video for We Cry Together no. is amazing. I saw it on great. Twitter. <laughs> Yeah. That's great. I saw one scene. Into, well, like, the ending. Like, the, no. ending. <laughs> the ending. The ending was. Fat. I'm like, but what? I mean, we all expected it was. Coming. I mean, the ending was gonna come. I, mean, I don't know. Damn, I didn't know it was gonna be like an Instagram type episode. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, Instagram. Then we actually showed yeah. the thing. I like. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh. no, your, but, I was like, what's your wife? No, but you know, I've been seeing. Yeah. Have you seen the clips of him on tour though? No, wow. Kendrick on tour. Oh, it yeah. looks amazing. Yeah. Te- Kendrick's tour is always good though. It, it looks amazing. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just not a fan of him wearing the crown of thorns. It's really pissing me oh, off. Oh, wow, Gastonbury. It's pissing me off so much. With I, the blood. I, I can't. Yeah, dude. I the can't. Blood. It's like, that's probably why I just can't go back to it because just seeing he, the way he's performing and just what he's doing. To be fair, he's. I just can't. At, at his live shows, he's cut out. He's not wearing the crown anymore. Okay. He's not wearing the crown anymore. That's great. Megan Sally's having a good I, year. I yeah, she's had a good year. She's on the. But that old. album wasn't really hitting. Who? You know what? I, did, I still haven't listened to the album. What well, Megs? It wasn't really yeah. hit. I like, there, like were, her. there were a That's couple really bangers, but I don't even remember her. That's it's just she just has the same flow She's all her, the time. Her, her, her. I do like B, that song though. B, 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 and a G, she, 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 she. That's a good song. It's yeah, a good B. song, but the rest of it is it's just As giving every every other song that she's ever made. Really? Yeah. But because you, how can you dro- give us Plan B and they were thinking, yeah. Oh my gosh, Plan B was so such sick. a good. I love Plan what B. What she needs to do is bring back Tina Snow. Yeah. Properly. 
properly. It's the same way Nicki Minaj is bringing back. Because that video where she was freestyling was so good. And I was I just like, bring that back. Good. That's why I don't bring understand. I feel like she just needs to do an album of actually just all freestyles, but just say it's actual songs. Just mm. don't tell us that it's freestyles. Mm. Because when she does freestyles, I'm like, yeah, why can't you give us this? Like, it ain't good. Sorry. Terrible, terrible, terrible. But I don't know what other yeah, artists I have had to do. I feel like, yeah, even though, oh, I'm trying, even trying to think Central of Central C, Doja. I get, I get, like, for pop, I, I guess Central Them C. Them people, but I couldn't. I'm me. not, but it's not, it's not my portion. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not really, it's not for me. Like, it's just. Do you know who's had a good year? Even yeah. though she hasn't really dropped any music yet. Chloe's had a great year. She's had, oh! Chloe's had a great she's year. She's had a good year. She's had a good year. Especially that BET performance. That BET performance. I was like, yeah, I'm in oh. album. It was amazing. Yeah, ten out of ten. That's the best performance ever. And when she yeah. started dance, the whole melody for yeah. what you call it, um, surprise, surprise then into... have mercy, then treat me, then freak like me. Yeah, it was good. My performance was ten out of ten. She's, she's, she's had a great year. I just can't wait till she drops like the whole the whole project. No, I yeah. feel like someone who I hasn't had a great year is nobody. What? Where? Where is she? She hasn't had a great year. Yeah, no. where? Where is Apparently she? Apparently, she was saying that. <laughs> is it label was, issues again? No, she was saying that, what do you call it, her mum, something about her mum's had cancer now. Oh. So she's just been oh, okay. up and down. Because she was supposed to drop her album this summer, but then the news came. But I was yeah. like, yeah, that's sad as well. But I'm yeah. like, your album was never going to come out anyway. Do you think... And Flo, Flo's had a great year. Oh, Flo, yeah. yeah Flo, Flo's, Flo's had a great year. They've had a great year. Yeah, Flo have been... They've crazy. been about... Oh. Who are they signed to? Um, I no, it's Republic Records. Okay. Same record as Ariana Grande. Nah, man, they're, they're gonna do big things, man. They're mm -hmm. gonna do, they're gonna do really big things. <gasps> Did you know Jesse Nelson got dropped? Yeah, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> good. She's grand, had the worst debut ever. Good. Grand did, did, you see, did, you see, did you see that snippet of, of the song? Jeez. Whoa, 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 terrible. What was the song? She used to throw it away. It was just like, you know. Just some stupid you know, like, blah, 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 la, la, last mm. rubbish. Yeah, she makes Empire music. Yeah. They try to say Chloe makes Empire music. No, no she doesn't. You make Empire music. No, nah, Jesse. Her, but she was never going to prosper because who like? Because. That's the thing. Who is her target audience? You started off like, your career beefing your old bandmates and your target audience are what? White men. You're not Zane. Yeah. You're not she Zane. thought she was going to be Zane. She's Liam Payne. Because <laughs> yeah. both her and Liam Payne are... Liam Payne just came on the interview just talking for no reason, saying I'm the leader of the group and Red Tate. Tate. You I said, no, leader, no he was the group. reason why the group was made in. Was made uh, inside in the X Factor, there. yeah. But but outside of X Factor, when they came to the, the real life... the biggest one. Yeah, cause uh, cause though in X Factor, I remember they were trying to push him as the main one, yeah. but then because he had the Justin Bieber look. Yeah. yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. But it was really Harry Styles, yeah. and we can see. And, and, then, Harry and, and Zayn. And Harry, and then when Zayn did his own thing, I was like, oh, that was a mm -hmm. good year for him. Yeah, Yo, that, what, that Pillow Talk song. Yeah. This I thought he was. Good. Bad. It's just that he did. But he even jumped on the the Usher remix for Back to Sleep. That was a good song. Yeah. I feel like Drake's just been chilling this year. Even uh, though he's, 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 yeah, he's, he's, he's getting on my nerves. He, he did never mind that um, with Sticky and all that songs. Um, that, un honestly, never mind. Yeah. That, that came and went. Man. I'm telling you, Drake needs to take three years off. He needs to calm down. He's oversaturating himself. Because but. the thing is, after views, that's when everyone's like, yeah, Drake is a sick rapper. And then after that, every year, something, a project, a mixtape, a this, a that, just trying to chart. That's the problem that I have. That's why I feel like him and Nicky are the same. They always want a number one. They always care about charts. That's why they always talk about it. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, true, true. true. Joe, but do you know who I've really, do you know I'm happy for this year? Who? Kiki Palmer. Yeah. yeah. I'm so happy for Kiki this year. Just like, she's always been, like, she's always been, like, a star. Yeah. But now it's just like, you're seeing her on these platforms and she's getting to show off her personality and now it's like, this is, like, she's amazing. And the thing is, it's more like heartwarming after, because I remember there was a period of time where she wasn't getting any jobs, so she yeah. made a skit about it on YouTube. And then from that, that's when she started getting jobs more. So it's like, everybody goes through ups and downs, but Kiki Palmer's journey from being a child star, like, she's always known and that she's And she's navigated it well. And she could act. And, and she can sing. A year. Talent. Talent. There was a Christmas song that she did last year, I think with Kelly Clarkson. No, Tori Kelly. Such a good song. I was like, damn, Kiki can sing. Yeah. You didn't know that? Like, I knew that she can sing, but I was like, like that. She, was she can actually notes. sing. Like, cause there's child star singing, and then there's like, no, oh, she can no, sing. Can sing. Yeah. Because a lot of these child stars can hold, can hold a note. <laughs> None of them. I said a lot of them can hold a note, but yeah. a lot of them can't at all. I think Miley Cyrus and Demi Lovato are good. They're oh. having good years, because I feel like they're back in their pop rock element. 
Yeah, they're doing their own it's thing. Good for them. Yeah, they're they're doing doing, and Selena Gomez head. is back to acting, thank God. So they're always sticking to what they could do right. Stick to what you know, B. Because oh. Selena Gomez and singing, oh, it just Ooh. wasn't No, nah, but her oh, scene was, you know, they made... They were good. But when she went by herself, I was like, oh. But guys, watch Only Murders in the Building. That's a good show. Yeah. I started really? it. See, I'm on season two. It's really good. Yeah. Okay. It's literally based about, they make a podcast about murders. Yep. Oh. And then, they're, and then they're all involved in it in the building. It's so sick. It's on Disney Plus. Okay. That is actually sick. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But yeah, this has been a, a dope episode of the Rare Podcast. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. You know what I'm saying? We back. Just follow me on Instagram, guys. That's about it. <laughs> it's the J Quad. Yeah, just follow me, HTTP.JXSON. Jason's had a great year this year. Yes. Jason's, Jason's had, had an amazing year. year. An amazing year. Oh my fam. goodness. I see him everywhere. Jay Quad. Man went Edinburgh fam. How was even that? Edinburgh was good. It was just so many hills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got Uber everywhere. The Uber's hella cheap. There's like four pounds. Oh, love that. It was so cheap. Yeah. The hotel was nice. The food was nice. The spa was nice. Ooh. Enjoyment. Living yeah. life. Yeah. yeah. I'm saying. Big up Jay Quad. Look. HTP dot Jixon. But um yeah, you can find me on Twitter uh, NK Preach. Make sure you follow the rest things podcast for you know all the good wrestling content. And we do, you know, we've done a couple events now. We got Jason and Ashley, you know, they've attended a couple. Yeah. Got battle in the basement, you know. Oh yeah, that was another great event. I had a fun time there. Yeah. I wish I was there. Yeah, it, it was, was good. games that's so, you know what I'm saying, games, we got games, competitions, it was fun. challenges, you know, pull up the events slowly growing. You know, What's the next one? Um October. Next next one will be no November. When's Halloween? October. October, yeah, late October. So we'll have the specific date soon. But look around Halloween time. We're going to have, you know, a little event, you know. Yeah, Battle in the Basement, Games Night. Make sure you subscribe to the Wrestling's podcast for wrestling content. Um, yeah. And also, like I said before, subscribe here and follow us on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Big up the TikTok family, you know, the TikTokers who are following us. Yeah, man, get us to, what, almost near 100K likes on TikTok. So get us there. Get us to 1K on On Rare Podcast on YouTube. YouTube. Get us to 1K on YouTube. We are close. Subscribe, everyone. Subscribe, peoples. But yeah, man. And send us some money. (laughs) Send it. Give me some money. Y'all be listening to us for free. Give us some money. (laughs) You brokeies. Who? Hmm? Speak for yourself. I'm not broke. No, I said they're broke because they ain't sending us money. I'm I'm good. But yeah, man. Uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces. Bye. Y'all niggas got me hot.